So now we're going to do the forearm. We, we began uh, covering the arm. So now we're actually going to do the forearm. Uh, we'll start off with the, the front of the arm. So if we actually look at the arm like this, um, we have flexors on this side and we'll have extensors on this side. So these are where we're going to see our, a lot of our flexors and, and whatnot. So first off, we're going to start off with this muscle right here, which has been cut. So this muscle right here is the pronator teres. So that's what that one is. Okay. Now we're going to talk about some muscles that are actually missing here. They're not, they're removed, but we do have the tendons that are attached or would be attached to the muscles here. So here, this muscle right here, the tendon coming down would actually come across a muscle going down this way. This is actually uh, the flexor carpi radialis because it flexes the wrist and it runs along the radius. So that's the flexor carpi radialis. Okay. This muscle right here uh, is actually the palmaris longus. It actually runs to the palm of the hand and actually uh, helps to tense it. Okay. Uh, now, there's a series of muscles here, right, in this area here and here, uh, that actually go up. These are actually going to go up and they're going to run upwards towards the fingers. So these are going to flex the digits. This happens to be more superficial, more closer to the, the surface. So these are going to be called the flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay. By removing or moving those muscles out of the way, we can actually see some of the deeper muscles that are here. So this particular muscle right here uh, that's deeper uh, actually goes up and attaches to the thumb. This muscle right here flexes the thumb. This is the flexor pollicis longus. These muscles here all flex the digits. However, this one is deeper, and so this one is the profundus. So this is the flexor uh, digitorum profundus. Both of those? All of it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Then this right here, this muscle right here, uh, is actually uh, the flexor of the wrist, but this one runs on the side of the owner. So this is the flexor carpi oneris. Now, typically there is a uh, flat kind of uh, ligamentous material that actually comes across uh, and wraps these muscles and holds them into place. Uh, and the material that would actually do that is called the retinaculum, and so it would be the flexor retinaculum, uh, which actually goes across here. Uh, there's also an extensor retinaculum on the back of the arm. So if we flip it over, you'll see here is the extensor retinaculum right there. Okay? Now, on the back of the arm, we have several muscles here. We'll start with this one, which has been cut and removed. This is the brachioradialis, right there. Okay? Now, there are two muscles that are also missing and should be right here underneath the brachioradialis, and it should be the extensor carpi radialis, longus and brevis. Um, they are missing. The longest would be underneath the brevis, and they would actually run across here and attach to the wrist, but they're missing, so they're not there. Okay, now, this muscle right here is the extensor digitorum. So that's what this is. This goes up and extends all the digits. So this is the extensor digitorum. Now, this muscle right here is the abductor pollicis longus. Below that is the extensor pollicis brevis, and below that is the extensor pollicis longus. So brevis above the longus, like over here. Now, underneath the extensor digitorum is going to be another muscle that goes up and goes to the index finger, and it is called the extensor indices. You can't see it on the model, but you will be able to see it on the cadaver. Now, next to the extensor digitorum right here is a muscle that goes up and goes towards the, the um, pinky. Uh, so this is going to be called the extensor 
digiti minimi. So it goes up and extends the smallest digit, the digiti minimi. Now, this muscle right here goes up and actually attaches to the wrist. It is going to extend the wrist and it runs along the owner. So this is the extensor carpi oneris. Now, this muscle right here, which is deeper to the extensor uh, carpi radialis and brevis and that of the digitorum, is the supinator or the supinator. That's what that is. Now, this muscle right here is the anconius. Right there, that's the anconius. All right? Where do you